Now, if you're asked to find the equation that passes through a, a pair of points, the first thing you should be able to um, figure out is the slope of the line. And so the way we figure out the slope of the line between these two points, negative 3, negative 7, and 4, 7, is to use the slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And it's always important that you realize that if you're given uh, two points, that you can automatically calculate the slope. And so we're going to take a look at these coordinates, and we're going to assign which variable is y2 and y1. So our second point is 4, 7. So we're going to say that y2 is 7. And that means that automatically that y1 is negative 7. And so if this 7 is our y2, then automatically 4 has to be our x2 value because the um, x2 and the y2 have to be in the same ordered pair. And that means that negative 3 is our x1. So we sub into the equation for y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And you end up with minus negative. Um, in both instances. And remember that if you subtract a negative, that's the same thing as adding. So this is 7 plus 7, positive 7, which is 14. And in the denominator, we have 4 minus negative 3, which is 4 plus positive 3, which is positive 7. And 14 over 7 is 2. So now we have the slope of the line. And what we can do is sub into our formula y equals mx plus b, given the, form, the values we have. Now, remember that from the um, previous part of the question, we just found that m was 2, where the slope was 2. And we're going to use the b coordinate here. So we're going to say that um, y is 7, because here's our y coordinate. And that means that we, can use, we have to use x equals 4. So I just use the same ordered pair to find the um, equation of the line. So the, what we require then is we have m, y, and x. The only thing we don't have is the value for b or the y-intercept. So what we have to do is use our equation y equals mx plus b. We substitute and we end up with 7 minus 2 times 4 plus b. And then we solve for b. So we subtract 8 from both sides, and we find that b equals negative 1. We substitute the values we found into the equation, y equals mx plus b. So that means that our equation is y equals 2x minus 1.